Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited to introduce you to something that I've been working and toiling over for a couple years, as it's been a while, trying to figure out how do we replace the keyboard with touch in a way that makes sense and is consistent and standardized. If I gave you a different keyboard for every program you, you worked in, so you had one keyboard for Photoshop, another keyboard for Clip Studio Paint, another keyboard for Illustrator or any other programs that you're working in, and said, here, this one is the best for this program. You know, I think we would all pretty quickly realize that that's a lot of memorization and can get really frustrating. So what is the point of the hotkey profile? The hotkey profile is an attempt to standardize, and this is probably version 7 or 8 that I've gone through of modifying and tweaking and changing things and working with them and practicing with them and, and applying them to different program after different program, applying them to gaming, applying them to other different parts of the computer tablet experience, and they fall apart. Uh, they don't make sense. And the reason they don't make sense is I was trying to do the letters of the alphabet based off frequency of use in the English language. So E, T, S, A, uh, all were used a lot. R was used a lot. Z was not used very much. X was not used very much. V was not used very much. Q was not used very much. And as it turns out, when you're working to replace a keyboard and mouse, uh, that's typically built for right hand on the mouse, left hand on the keyboard. Uh, what that means is all of these blue keys over here in the two finger zone and the three finger zone were getting all the love. And all of these over here were getting left. Uh, almost no use for B, J, K, L, O, I, U, P, N, and M. So uh, all of those gestures that were based on frequency of use in the English alphabet, they were easier gestures. I think the two finger gestures are easier to do than the three finger gestures for N5. So now I have these mapped over to two finger gestures. The easiest one to complete are two fingers. Pinching in is Z, pinching out is X, twisting to the left is Q, twisting to the right is E. Up, down, left, right is W, S, A, D, or W, A, S, D, as it's more frequently referred to. Uh, two finger tap is right click, and three finger tap is space, four finger tap is enter, and five finger tap is supposed to bring up the on screen keyboard. So if you're using numbers, uh, you can do that or add anything that's not in this current setup. Uh, now I have tab, I'm sorry, tab, backspace, shift, control, alt, and the windows key. All of these are set to toggle, but you can change that if you want. Up here is a microphone key for when Voculus is finished, or if you guys have a program that uses a microphone, that's a good way to turn that on. Uh, you can have the uh, assist pad called up with this button up here, right here. Uh, this is the let's, there we go. I made them kind of small because I think they look cool. Uh, that'll bring up the ability to switch in between and go into settings. Um, obviously, I labeled this. There's stars again so that you know that this is cool. And delete keys over here, and then I have scroll bars uh, in these corners, mostly for aesthetics, but. Uh, obviously they do function, so you can scroll up and down in your web pages and programs with these bars as well. Alright, so how does that look? So here we are in uh, Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to pinch in. And if I want to switch tools, there's a text tool, the hand tool, Pinching in is going to bring me to the zoom tool. Uh, let's see. If you're inside the program and you're not sure what the gestures do, most of us don't use the same, we don't use the entire keyboard. But learning just a couple different ones to start is a really great way of getting used to different things. All right, C, V. C is three fingers pinch in, V is pinch out, A is over here. And you can see all these tools, they're switching. with the gestures and I have control here so if I wanted to do uh, work and, and have these different buttons toggled on 
it's very, very possible to do this efficiently and accurately with Tablet Pro and with the hotkey menu and have all of your keyboard keys available to you. And for me, being able to do this inside of Adobe Illustrator and then immediately switch over to uh, any other program that uses hotkeys and have it make sense and not have to relearn uh, is fantastic. Uh, in the past, I have set up, so in one program, a gesture would perform a combination. So it would be like uh, Control plus C or Control plus V. And so uh, I was doing Control. Uh, I just press a single button, and that would do that entire gesture. But I find that, that having a standard that works for everything is, is a lot better. All right, so um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is available now in the uh, community assets. If you don't have those, join the 14-day challenge. That'll immediately give you access. Uh, and those of you who would like to contribute art to go behind this image for people so that while they're learning the hotkeys, they can put this as their desktop background, I think it's very, very helpful. Uh, you can also just pull that image off onto your phone and then set your phone uh, on your legs or wherever so you can see this uh, keyboard, uh, the hotkeys, uh, while you're working until you get used to it. But force yourself to use them. That's the easiest way. So if you're inside of Illustrator and you go, okay, uh, I don't remember what this is, well, go back, figure it out, and then instead of clicking it with the mouse button, force yourself to, to do the change. And that way you'll get you'll get used to it a lot faster. It's definitely the best way, in my opinion, to learn. Make yourself do it. All right, until next time, uh, I, I hope you guys have a great week and stay creative.